What's up once again everyone, MonkeyDude22 here for another Let's Play. This time we are doing DuckTales, the classic NES title from 1992 as a part of the Disney Afternoon Collection on Xbox One. This is the next one in the series, next up it'll be DuckTales 2, but this is a game that I remember playing as a kid. I never beat it back then, just like Tailspin, which I'd never played. I had played Darkwing Duck, but never got a chance to beat it as a kid, so this would be my first time playing it all the way through. Let's get started. All right, another great Capcom game. I, I loved all the Mega Man games. I loved the Chip and Dales game and uh, DuckTales, of course. Darkwing Duck was uh, kind of like set in the same universe as DuckTales, but a little bit different. Uh, but here we go. Love that musical intro. Mm, 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 mm. Do, 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 Darkwing Duck, ooh. Darkwing Duck. Yeah. All right. I remember loving this show as a kid growing up, and I love the fact that they put these out on DVD now so that way I could rewatch them. But here we go. Press start. Once again, we need your help, Darkwing. A mysterious crime wave has swept over the city. We believe these crimes are the work of that secret criminal organization, Foul. You must put an end to their fiendish plans. Launchpad will brief you with the details of your missions. Of course, Launchpad and McQuack, you might remember him from DuckTales, so that's where the, kind of the whole tie-in comes in. They're kind of the same city, so... Remember to collect all of the diamonds. Here we go. Where should we go now, DW? Alright, so we can do the bridge stage, we can do like the city stage and something else. I can't remember uh, which is which, but I know that you have to do all of them, so it doesn't really matter. We'll just go ahead and start with the bridge. Quacker Jack and his henchmen are blocking the construction of the new bridge. You'd better stop him before someone gets hurt. Do you want to go there? Yes, we do. I love the plane, too. I wish, like, somebody would re recreate this plane in, like, Flight Simulator or something. It'd be super cool to do that. I am Darkwing Duck. All right, so just like most of these games, they are platformers at heart and at nature. There's uh, usually a different mechanic for some of these games. Um, in all of the different ones, of course, DuckTales, of course, you use your pogo stick to kind of uh, maneuver around. Uh, oh, come on. We can do better than that. Um, I'm rewind it. I might as well just rewind it the whole way to get all my heart back. Um, but yeah, each, each game has a mechanic, a different kind of a, a nuance that makes the game unique. Uh, DuckTales, or DuckTales, like I said, has the pogo stick with uh, Scrooge McDuck. Um, Darkwing Duck can change different weapons. Um, or at least he can have different uh, projectiles come out of his weapons. And of course his cape, if you hold up on the uh, control pad, uh, he's got a kind of a shield here mechanic that you can use. Oh, didn't mean to do that. wanted to, you hold up to grab onto these hooks. And uh, as I've said in some of these past videos, it is super difficult to do this with an analog stick. I so wish there was a classic controller um, that I could use that uh, kind of would just be more like an NES controller because the using these uh, <laughs> up on the analog stick is not the best to uh, try all these things. But here we go, going up the bridge. You can kind of grab onto, kind of like a whole, uh, I guess you could say Bionic Commando kind of thing. Kind of the same kind of feel to it. Boom, get out. Get off my bridge. Oh. Duck under that bat. Bats. They are like the most common enemy in all of video games, I think, are bats. Bats and ghosts, maybe. I mean, bats and ghosts date back to, like, Pac-Man and stuff like that. Alright, here we go. Some classic platforming there. Ah, missed that. Try that again. And like I've said in previous videos, I, you know, I, I'm not, I don't think anybody's interested in watching me essentially play through these entire levels all over again uh, after goofing up, so that's why I'm using the rewind uh, feature in this collection. Oh, come on. There we go. You can do it, Darkwing, come on. Let's try that, there we go. Outsmart the game a little bit. There we go. Of course, they want me to collect these gold bars, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that. Let's try. Oh, there we go. And I think it's the select button. Yeah, select button will change your uh, weapon. But the, the main pistol uh, gives you uh, unlimited ammo, so that's why I'm kind of sticking to that. Get those lattice. 
A lot of catchy tunes. Ah, come on. I can do better than that. There we go. Full heart. Get up there and get that uh, whatever this weapon is. Oh, it's just a different weapon there. Uh-oh. Ugh. We can do this. I forgot about this. Hmm. Ah, screw it. <laughs> Just jumped to my death, I guess. Wow, this is going to look really great. Total cringe play here. Holy cow. There we go. Come on. Like I said, the up on the uh, analog stick is just not uh, the easiest thing to do. So I, I just I don't feel bad on using the rewind feature whenever I whenever that happens to me, just because it's just such a such a difficult thing to do uh, in a game like this. Now it's interesting because there is a company out there. Um, I can't remember who it was. I want to say it was Interact? Maybe it's Interact? I don't think so. Uh, that I saw at E3 that essentially created an Xbox uh, control pad that uh, um, was like almost like a, a Wii Classic controller or like a Genesis controller where they had the analog stick but it was like switched. Oh gosh. Oh, that's bad. Um, but essentially uh, it made it more along the fact that you would want to you favor the D-pad over the other one. I don't know if it was meant to be more of a fighting control stick, but um, yeah, it's definitely one of those things. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit more difficult because got to go up and down and up and down. Come on. Ah, oh, come on. Up and down is just no good in these kind of games. Like, I want to go down, but, like, just doesn't always do what I want it to do. Come on. Alright. Why is it going up? Come on. What? There we go. Get a rhythm. There we go. Ah. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Get him. Trying to focus on the game, and it's just. Oh. Come on, here we go. God, how many times has he got to hit this guy? There we go. Whew. That was a lot of hits for some reason. He's. Job well done. All right, so now we're gonna race back to uh, headquarters, I guess. Special points, total points, 6,900. I don't know what that's gonna do necessarily. Where should we go now? 
All right, so we got that one. Uh, I guess we'll just go this one. Wolf Duck and his henchmen are rampaging through the city, center of the city, but be careful. Wolf Duck goes berserk when the moon comes out. Do you want to go there? Yes. Let's do it. Fly in. We're coming in hot. I always like this uh, music track here. Because they have a banana peel, because you could slip on a banana peel, maybe. There we go. It's kind of weird that they'd have bananas that it's an obstacle, though. Come on. Alright, well, I'm stuck here. Oh, well, actually. Nope, I can't even do that. I don't want to get hit by this banana, but I got no choice. At least it doesn't hurt. Alright, screw it. Let's just go along. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. Come on. Go die. There you go. Got an itch on my face and I couldn't itch. All right, here we go. So many bananas. It's a terribly littered street here in the, I guess you'd call it Duckburg. Alright, going up, going up, going up. Jumping across, onto a wheel, holy cow, platforming. There we go. Ah! Goof that up. I can do that better. There we go. Oh gosh. Okay, so can't hit him with the shell. Doing the shield doesn't help. Come on. Alright, screw it. There would be another one of these guys. Just joyriding like Mary Poppins. Ooh, look at that. Okay, I'm not sure how I'm going to beat him. Maybe I'm not supposed to? What? Alright, I don't get it. Maybe I have to use the projectiles against him? Let's try this. That doesn't do anything. I'm not sure what to do with him. I mean, there's got to be a way to get around him. This isn't even doing anything. 
You can't jump on him. You can't jump over him. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this guy. Oh, come on. This is so... Come on. What? Can you jump on him? No. What are you supposed to do with these guys? Sure, this is highly entertaining to watch right now. Just trying to give trying to give myself enough hit points to just bypass that guy. That way I can at least pass this part. I don't I don't know how to get past the guy. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. Like, you can't... There's got to be a way to beat him. Yeah, you know, screw it. Of course, there's two of them. <sighs> get through, get through, get through. What in the world am I supposed to do here? Oh, okay. I mean, you gotta be able to beat these guys somehow. How do you... what? Okay. It's just, I don't know, it just seems like a dumb mechanic. <sighs> oh, well at least now I know if I kill him I get something different. I don't know how to beat those guys. At least I know how to beat them now. Great. I have to go up there. Jump over. Oh, made it. Oh, good lord. A wolf duck, maybe? Whoa! Come on, I didn't want to use the cape. This is the analog thing that I'm telling you about. I don't want to use the cape, and it's forcing me to use the cape. Oh, good God. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, 
Come on, guy. I hate so much that it's not, the controls are not working for me. It, why is it doing the cape? Oh my good lord. Fire. The fact that this cape keeps popping up is driving me nuts right now. Come on. It's frustrating, man. It's frustrating. It's frustrating going through some of these things. Like, using the analog stick is a horrible idea for a game that can only go up, down, left, and right. <sighs> take a breath. Take a breath. Man. Because every time that I try to, like, jump to the left, if it's a little bit in the up direction, it treats it as up. And it won't let me jump. It'll do the cape thing. Oh, man. All right. SOS call from the sewers. Liquidator is on the loose. Do you want to go there? Yes. All right. I'm trying to use the D-pad, but it just doesn't feel right using the D-pad. All right. Should have known this was going to be a thing when I bought this game. Come on, come on. Oh, come on, really? <sighs> Not enough time to hit him. that but I don't know oh, okay I can grab on that cool all right I don't know how I'm supposed to get up there this is probably gonna kill me no maybe not oh boy So there's a guy there by the door. Oh, Lord. Maybe the only... Okay. They only come out uh, when it's dark. Oh, come on. Give me a chance. Why? Come on. <sighs> Honest, real reactions, guys. Honest, real reactions. This game is... This is, it's, this is frustrating with these controls on this controller. And I love that Xbox has a really good D-pad, but it's just not, these games are not designed for an analog stick, and the placement of the D-pad for me is a problem. It is a problem for me. Oh, come on, really? 
How are you supposed to get up there? Alright, whatever. Come on. Oh, of course there would be somebody else there. Whatever. What? Alright. Come on. Let's go. Done. 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 Come on, Darkwing. Is this gonna fall on me? Oh, come on. Ooh. Sorry to interrupt your mission, but we need your help. A group of burglars have broken into the city's vault and taken all the valuable items. Our information indicates that the burglars dropped some of the loot during their getaway. Is this a bonus stage? Blast open as many of the containers and collect as many of the items as you can. So this is probably a bonus stage. All right, here we go. Get all the points. Get all them points. Okay. Oh, good. I get to start all the way back here again. That's a great bonus stage. Thank you so much. Come on. <sighs> Jesus. Fuck it. I'm going to take the hit anyway. At that point. <sighs> cool. That just screwed me. Jump! Come on. Drop. No! I didn't want to do that. Oh, thank God for the rewind feature. Oy, oy, oy. Lord knows I wouldn't get through this game without it. Really? There we go. That forming. All right. Okay, got a boss guy here. figure it. Come on, seriously? You see the cape coming out all the time and I'm not wanting to do it. Really? Oh, come on. There we go. That one is wasn't as bad as some of the other ones, because you I mean you did, you can 
fairly, once you figure out his pattern, it's fairly easy. Um, so that was three levels. I'm not sure what I'm doing next, though. I imagine something else is going to open up on another side of town. Where should we go now? Something strange is going on in the woods. It may be the work of bush what? Bush root? Bush root. Okay. Go check it out, Darkwing. All right, let's do this. Hmm. I am Darkwing Duck. Ugh. And I just get hit right in the face by a, like a, a rose or something. Oh god. Dog's angry about something. Really? Really? Remember, these kids were these games were designed for kids. So like the 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 <laughs> The, the amount of dexterity and the, uh, the reaction time. I mean, I was the generation that this stuff was for. And it's just amazing to me that I would even be able to play something like this back then. Really? Jeez. Not going to be much I can do there. Can't even do anything about that. <sighs> Maybe I can jump back. Oh. Screwed no matter what I do. Really? Alright. Stupid Rose. I don't want to throw up my cape. Come on. There's just so much crap. What are you going to do? This game is frustrating. Look at all this stuff. It's endless. This is just endless. Endless amounts of birds and... Okay, I thought these were, like, pits that I was going to fall through, but I guess not. Okay, i got to go over the log. Alright. I don't know if I want the lightning bolt, but I guess i got no choice. Alright, plunge your dart again. I guess I have to go up? How am I supposed to get up, though? Come on. Really? <sighs> Wait, can I go down? Cryptic. Why does the game have to be so cryptic? Like, who's going to look for that? Come on. Oh god, a fat bird. And I can't freaking jump and hit it. Oh my gosh. I hate so much playing these games with this controller. Turn. How? How? How am I supposed to? I guess I'm not. I'm not supposed to be them.
Wow. Oh god, another one of these up-down stages. What? Oh my god, there's another enemy too? Oh, I'm, that's my enemy, okay. This game is so cryptic. Okay, maybe it's not my enemy. I don't even know anymore. All I know is I wasted a bunch of these arrows. And I can't get up any higher. Boom. All right. Whew. It, it's, it's so, like... I mean, I've never played this game, like, all the way through before, so a lot of these things are brand new to me. So it's just, like, figuring out what you gotta do to get through them. And sometimes in the 8-bit games, they were, they were super cryptic and challenging like that, so... All right, so let's go ahead and do this one, and then uh, head up to the tower, I guess. All right. I am Darkwing Duck. And I go right into a hit. <laughs> Bats in daylight. Why? Fire! Fire the pistol! like when I jump I'm like naturally wanting to hold up on the stick and when I do that I can't shoot in midair I do this so that's what's really killing me there's so much of holding up that it's just to grab these things like I said this is just the mechanics of Darkwing Duck and uh, oh man okay Am I supposed to grab underneath? No. I gotta wait for it to come up. Whoa, genie in a lamp. Come on. Turn left or right. God. Alright, this game is... Screw it. I mean, a lot of this game right now to me is just pass it. How do you pass it without even hitting anybody right now? Because, like, how do you kill these guys? I mean, I guess you kill, you hit the lamps, but jeez. What is this? Alright, do this again here. So you can only hit it when they're out of the lamp. So it's just a rapid fire thing. I can do that without getting hit. Ah, come on. Why is it going the other way? Whatever. Ninja Squirrel. Alright. I, I don't even know. Alright. 
What, what am I inside a, a Egyptian temple or something? What's with all the genie ghosts? Oh my god, ninja squirrels everywhere! Alright. I must be inside a lamp or something. I don't know what the heck's going on here. What? Oh, these are nails. Ninja Squirrel can jump on the nails, okay. Makes sense, I guess. Uh, come on. Alright. Trying to do it without taking a hit, just because it's just like... I'm gonna need the hit for whenever I get to the boss. Cause he's... Come on. I don't want to pull up my cape. Oh my god, come on. Whatever. Just, it's, it, just the control is so hard. And there's just so many situations they put you in that you just have no choice but to take the hit. Oh, come on game, don't play me like this. What am I gonna do? Come on. controls are so frustrating. I, I look like I am like the worst video game player imaginable, but it's just the controls are just impossible to deal with. Like why is it? I don't want to use my cape. What is it about this game? Is it just the insane amount of projectiles? Is it the insane amount of enemies that just pop out of nowhere? Like, come on. Like, oh my lord. Like, seriously. I don't know, maybe my, my thumbstick is just goofy or something. I'm going to take a hit every time. You can't defeat the guy without taking a hit. Oh my lord. This is just... Oh my god. I, I swear to God, you, you mean you, you play a game like Gears of War and you play the horde mode. That's what this is. This is horde mode in 2D. There are just endless amounts of enemies coming after you. Oh, I remember this enemy. I remember this guy from the cartoon. This is a guy that's like has like a, a battery on his uh, back and like his... Oh, come on, seriously? He's got like a electrical plug for a head or something like that. Okay, alright, well... Ugh, come on. I want to go down. Let me go down. Oh, come on with this cape. Let me go down. All right, screw it. I'm just going to go right. Or left. Whatever. Come 
Come on. Okay, don't come up this time. There you go. Whew. Job well done. Jeez. No, the tailspin game was frustrating because of the mechanic of having to loop around and going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. This one's frustrating just because of the controller. I'm sure if um, I had a better controller to play this with, that uh, wouldn't be as frustrating. Because, man, I can't, I can't imagine this is entertaining to watch. I can't wait to see how many downvotes I get on this one. Holy cow. This is just incredible. But I mean, like I said, this is the first time I've played this game. Um, you know, so, so you're seeing my honest reactions in playing this game for the first time. I'm sure they would be a little bit more positive with a different controller. You know, if I was playing this on the NES, I don't think I'd be as frustrated. Because then it would be literally me playing the game, you know, as it was intended. But I don't think they ever intended to use these controllers, and I think it's just like, you know, let's port it because we can make some money. But man. You're playing a, a, a you know, a up, down, left, right, a four-way a button system with a, an analog stick that it's wasn't designed for. Come on. Alright, screw it. I'm just going up. All right, so what am I supposed to do here? He's not moving. Like, why are you... All right, there we go. Cheat the system. I keep forgetting I have these other weapons that I can use. Alright, there we go. I don't care about the gold. The gold doesn't do me anything in the game, so why do you even have it? I guess if you want to go for the high score, but... I do not care about that. Oh, jeez. Alright, it's just a one-up. Alright. Jeez Louise. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Because he can throw through walls and I can't. Makes perfect sense. Cool. So I'm screwed either way. health kit. There we go. Great, these guys. That I can't kill, apparently. Or maybe I can, I just have to shoot them a lot. Nope. Alright. I'm over that guy. I, I don't know. I don't know what to do with these guys. You can't... You can dodge them, but you, it doesn't look like you can actually hurt them. I mean, what are you supposed to do with them? It doesn't make any sense. Maybe only if you have the plunger dart or something? Like, the only way that seems like I can hit them is like if I'm like on the ground because the projectiles go over their head, but there's no like hit notification. This is nothing telling me that I can do anything. So I don't, I don't know. I'm at a loss for words on these guys. 
It just makes no sense to me. And you can't jump over them, so it's like... I don't even know. I don't know. Come on, seriously? At least let me go through with only taking one hit. Come on. I'm over this, so over this right now. Oh, come on. Another one? I mean, what are you supposed to do with these guys? I, I just don't know. You can't hit him with anything. I mean, it makes no sense. What are you supposed to do with them? <sighs> Come on. I'm trying to get over there to that platform now, and I can't even jump on it. Acknowledge me. Must be the last level of the game. So they're throwing out all the stops and obstacles in this one. Great. Oh, give me the health pack, please. I don't know what to do. Come on. Really? That's gonna kill me? Come on. What? This... That makes no sense. You're gonna skip the screen. I'm like lightly tapping it. And you can't go back down because you scroll the screen. So how are you supposed to get this? I can't look down. Like things like this just annoy me. This is just poor design. Like why would you do that? I can pick it up. I don't know. Trying to scroll the screen as little as possible. Look at how much time I spent on this already. Alright. Can't do that. Maybe that was it. Well, it seems like I almost got there. There we go. 
Good lord. Should just cut all of that out. Get too selfish, too greedy. Want to get the extra hit. Alright, there we go. Alright, cool. Well, I don't know how to kill him, so... Uh, I should probably get that. Alright. Final boss, maybe? Ugh. Don't want to hit those things. This is... oh, really? Give me a break. Mm, come on. <sighs> really? Break. <sighs> really? <laughs> Come on. This game is relentless. Of course, you gotta be right in the right spot. And you can't. I don't always want to grapple the top portion. Holy cow. Man, as it's, 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 it's complex as this game is, it is frustrating to no end. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, if that's not the final boss, I think I got one more to go. Finally located the hideout of Steel Break as he is on Fowl's floating fortress. Let's get dangerous. All right. So it's the final, uh, final level of the game here. I'm sure I'm going to get all the stops and obstacles that they could possibly throw at me. Let's see how it goes. So it's like the Mario airship. Really? Really? Come on. Alright. Never know when you're going to need the one up. Really? You leave the screen and they're back, because that's how it works. Ah, oh, don't do me like this. Really?
I don't know, I just find this, some of this to be just an unnecessary challenge. Because half the time you're figuring out how to cheat the game than, you know, conquering the game. Holy... Another one of these, how do you beat them, guys? Come on! There's nothing you can freaking do! Cool, now they get guns. Give me a health pack, please. Oh, good God, now they... Really? Is that necessary? And he's gonna be back. Yep, of course he is. Look, it looks like I'm standing on top of the door. Of course I'm gonna think that I can stand on it. Really? Come on! Please don't be back. You're going to be back. Oh, jeez Louise. He's gonna jump over. Why wouldn't he? Thank you for the health, finally. You know what? Oh, come on. Oh, 
Oh, come on with these projectiles. Final boss, let's do this. Alright. Pretty sure I have to break the the glass on this guy. I'm gonna be fighting the controls again. There we go, get in the groove. Boom. All right, I can do this. Can I duck under those? I don't know. Goodbye. Rare achievement. Darkly wins. Dawn. Darkly dawns the duck. You foiled my plans this time, Darkwing. But the next time we meet, I shall be victorious. Well, they never made a sequel, so apparently they won't meet the next time. Job well done, Darkwing. Once again, you freed the city from Fowl's grip of terror. You have earned the gratitude of the entire city forever. Right off into the sunset. Or the moonlight. Okay. Oh. <laughs> of course he runs into a rock. The end. Well, that's it for this episode of the uh, Disney Afternoon Special Collection. Uh, six games in six days. This was Darkwing Duck. Uh, next, I believe it's Chippendale Rescue Rangers 2 or it's DuckTales 2. I can't quite remember which one is next. Uh, maybe it's DuckTales 2. Actually, I think it is because uh, I think that was next in the series. So, All right. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I know this was cringy with all the deaths and stuff, and it's just a very frustrating game to play through with the controls. But... I'm sure the next one will be better because I know uh, I did decently well with Chippendale Rescue Rangers and DuckTales, so I don't think we're going to have this much of an issue going forward. But like I said, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video, guys.